Hello everybody, it's Pete McHugh, welcome to the Pete McHugh Show episode 4, and on this particular episode I wanted to update you on a couple of things, because things regarding my social media landscape, or some things regarding that, have changed. Uh, this YouTube channel is a relatively new thing, still a very fertile avenue, and that isn't going anywhere. I plan to allow this YouTube channel to grow. The Pete McHugh Show is going to grow and develop. That's going to stay on the air and still remain within the YouTube community, so have no fear there. My Facebook links and connections are still going to be a part of that. Have no fear there. You can check me out and follow me on Facebook or connect with me on Facebook. Those of you watching the show who are fortunate enough to be my friends on Facebook. So that avenue is still open. However, I have made a social media change. And the biggest change I made is the one I made yesterday. When I decided that my website... PeteMcHugh.net, which for four years was the host of a blog slash podcast called Living Life and Loving It, just was not a practical avenue, I decided to make changes yesterday. I got rid of PeteMcHugh.net, and before you jump all on me, let me explain why. I have contemplated various ideas and shared various content within the podcasting realm. Even with in what I call the vidcasting realm for PeteMcHugh.net over the various years that it was on. And while it was enjoyable and I was getting a very, very personal enjoyment out of it and I was expressing my creative side, the website just was not receiving the attention that I had hoped it would. I put a counter on the website. It was my opening page to my Mac. And the counter indicated that most of the traffic that I was getting was coming from me when I would do various maintenance checks and updates and things of that nature. And while the podcast was fun, it just wasn't garnering the attention that I had hoped it would. The project was fun. I got to do various bleeps and bloops and various cool things in regards to recording and producing the radio show. But it just wasn't getting the gas and the traffic that I hoped it would. So, I talked to my buddy yesterday. And I said, Ryan, you are my tech guy. You know that I've had this website for four years because you've been through everything pretty much with me in the development of this thing. And frankly, man, while it's been fun for me to produce the show, I'm just not getting the traffic that I'd hope to get. I don't really see a lot of sense in maintaining the website, keeping the website up, because it's costing me $100 a year to host the show. He looked at me and he said, I understand. He said, you've got this social media thing licked now in new ways with your YouTube channel and how you've integrated that with Facebook. And this avenue seems to be more fruitful or more successful for you. And on top of that, it's free. It's not costing you $100 a year to maintain. And you can post on a whim because you have various devices throughout the house that make this avenue 
very accessible to you. So I can see why you would want to get rid of the website because you're just not getting the uh, attention that you would hope to get with the project. So I can see why you'd want to abandon, abandon it. And so we took the steps to delete the website. It's no longer there. The link on my Facebook page is no longer there. The little link that was connected to my YouTube channel is no longer there. Which means the only way and the most practical way that you can maintain a relationship with me on the internet and connect with me on the internet at the moment is the YouTube channel and also Facebook. There is a possibility, now don't quote me on this, that this network will be linked to other social network social networks and sites. There's a possibility that in the future I'll connect to things like Twitter and Tumblr and other things like that, but don't quote me on this because I think after do, doing some investigating today that it may stay as is and I just may stay connected to YouTube. Although technology is changing and my mind changes every day, I go on various technological tangents every day. So it's possible that I could be joining other social networks in the future. But don't hold me to that. Because it may not change. Um, although, like I say, it's a very fluid thing and it could. Facebook is going to stick... My YouTube channel is going to stick. This is not going anywhere. I want to say goodbye to the website. It was fun while it lasted. Um, and I do have a certain history with it. And it was hard to let go in some ways. But I got to say, I enjoy this form of communicating a lot more. Because it's a lot more face-to-face -face and intimate and closer to an audience, and more hello, that kind of thing. I can communicate with you eye to eye, face to face, and it's just more practical to host everything from an iPhone or any kind of eye device because it's just so simple to use and so intuitive. But I don't want to go on an iPhone rant. I don't want to go on an iMac rant. I don't want to go on a Mac rant. I just want to say to you that while the website is fun, this is the most practical way to get a hold of me if you want to track me electronically and socially. Have a wonderful night. I hope to talk to you soon. God bless. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great evening, great day, great morning. Whenever it is that you might be watching this video, make your day, your existence, your everything that you are, just be great with it. Make it great. Talk to you again soon with episode 5. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.